My name is Sunil. My name is Rita. And today I've lost 25 kgs. I'm and I've lost 10 kgs. For me, it's, it's definitely given me more confidence in terms of um, just, just my lifestyle. The autonomy has really helped me with that. Yeah, I mean, confidence and um, it's, it's the small things like you, you want to go into a shop, you want to pick something up and, you know, automatically back in the day, it used to be like you go for the bigger size or you have to ask, have you got a size bigger? But now walking in, uh, you're able to get what you want to get pretty much off the, sh off the shelf. And even things like, uh, you know, going to the amusement park and trying to squeeze on a ride and then to be told, oh, you can't get on because you can't physically put the strap down. It was a bit demotivating, but now that problem doesn't exist. So, yeah, it's good. I think my biggest learnings has been it's okay to fall over, but as long as you within yourself can get back onto it. I think it's been... Like for me, I enjoy my food and, you know, they incorporate the, the snacks, which I enjoy, the crackers, uh, stuff like that. But sticking to that principle of like the one plate rule and, you know, having a bit of variety, it's really helped that like, you get a taste of everything, but you're not overeating. So it's satisfying at the time and then you draw a line and move on to the next day. And, you know, it's been helpful like that. Yeah, I would say exactly the same. I think if you become more cautious of the type of food that you're eating because you know the Asian food is like very oily or you know very like butter orientated so you take a little bit because you know that you know a little bit is fine uh, whereas previously you would take two spoons of something I'm taking one spoon of something so you know I'm still in, it's not changing my diet so much because I can still incorporate it but it just helps you be a bit more mindful I say don't hesitate I like literally just go for it if you don't do it now when you're gonna do it no, if they don't do it when it's too late. Yeah, I would say just get off the fence and uh, put pen to paper and start doing it. Start checking off the boxes, you know, the nutrition, start hitting the steps, get down to the gym. And uh, yeah, I mean, life won't be the same again.